can you confirm when you as the Department of Justice became aware of the Gupta's arrests? We became um, aware um, last um, week, um, if I'm not mistaken, on um, Sunday, where we were informed by the um, authorities um, uh, from the from our um, embassy in the UAE. Were you taken by surprise? No, we were not, because um, as you are aware, um, the red alert was uh, issued um, some time. So we were always expecting a call from any country across the globe um, that um, they have uh, effected an arrest on the basis of the red um, Interpol notice, which um, oblige any country which is a member or signatory of Interpol to effect the arrest. So it was um, expected that it could happen from any part of the world because as we are aware, though it was rumored that um, they were they are in the UAE, but we did not have uh, anything with certainty or confirmation that indeed they are in the UAE, except what um, was always circulating, including sometimes uh, trips and traps of um, information. Yeah. So we needed um, the arrest uh, to be effected by any country to confirm with certainty. Can you tell us uh, any information about the circumstances of that arrest? Yeah, obviously we we only rely on the official um, communication and the diplomatic channels that informed us that um, they were arrested, and for us that is enough because that then kickstart the process that we have to undertake from our side uh, to submit the extradition request to the country that um, has notified us, and in this case the country is the UAE which now the National Prosecuting Authority is working on the relevant document for submission. Um, in terms of the treaty, it must be done um, within 60 days, but um, they have uh, informed us that they are endeavouring to do it as uh, soon as is practically possible. Sure. I mean, part of why I'm asking the question about the circumstances of the arrest is to understand how closely you were working with the authorities in the UAE. Did they happen to just nab them going about their daily business in the UAE? Were they travelling? How were they arrested? Yeah, obviously, I won't be able to, to answer that because um, we were only informed uh, by the authorities that they've been arrested. And that is what is uh, officially communicated to us, that they are in custody. And for us, that is um, is enough for us to be able to fix the right. process, which I've already referred to. Okay. So there's two things I'm, I, I need some clarity on then in terms of what happens next. There's obviously going to be the extradition matter, but there also could potentially be a bail application. Uh, can you talk to me about uh, the steps that must now follow? Yes, um, in any country, most of the countries, um, when there is uh, this kind of arrest, the first thing that needs to happen is that the arresting country needs to notify the, the requesting country, which has now happened. And then um, there could be processes of a bail application, as we have said, uh, uh, by the parties and the authorities in that country. And we'll then, on our behalf, attend to request or to oppose bail. So, um, yeah, and, continue. Um, the sec the, obviously, the, sec the second step is the one that I've referred to, of um, us as the requesting country submitting the, um, the extradition request in line with the um, extradition treaty. If there is a treaty between the two countries, and fortunately, there is a treaty between the UAE and South Africa, which was finalized um, uh, last year. But if there's no treaty, you then follow the convention in line with the United Nations the Convention Against um, Corruption. So as far as the extradition. Current events. Developing stories. Tough questions. Your voice making a difference. This is Breakfast with Bongani Bingwa.